my doctoral thesis was uh, basically a durometer, and this patent came from NASA. So basically, a durometer is a device, it's a piezoelectric device, where you can measure the hardness of a joint or an area. So the way that uh, NASA used this was to test the tiles on the space shuttle. And if the, the tiles were on too hard, or stuck too hard, they would shatter on, on re-entry. And so one way to um, make sure that the vibration won't break the tiles off is to measure that hardness. A strain isolator pad, known as the SIP, is adhesive bonded to the tiles. The SIP is made from a Nomex felt and is used to accommodate the strain caused by the differences in coefficients of expansion of the silica tile and the aluminum vehicle structure. Main engine seat. The reason why that was uh, groundbreaking about, about 20 years ago was, uh, was because uh, you could have an objective measure and you could uh, swipe your ID card and that would enter your information into the uh, medical records and then you could measure all the joints in your spine. So I've just finished analyzing and adjusting Danielle and we got a very good clear up and what I'd like to do now is show you some new features in the software. So come join me. Go to the review patient file. Don't forget that in, in this version, the newer versions 10.4 and above of the software, if we click on the email patient record, that will, for HIPAA compliance, uh, take a look at the actual email that we're sending it to. And then we can send that a HIPAA compliant secure email to the patient that includes all the information that you see here, the pre and post, everything that was adjusted, plus some information about your clinic. And if you'd like to add um, a brief message to that email, you can do that in the set preferences and then also put in a Google review link so that the patients can easily give your uh, clinic a review via Google. So really nice feature um, for both keeping information getting to the patient and then also with the new anatomy screen. But anyway, it's a pretty objective measure of joints that you could show a patient on a computer screen and they could see the improvements. Now I'm just going to test each position all the way down the back as the pretest before applying any any intervention. The frequency of application will slow and that gives the clinician both an audible and he can watch it over here a visible response. I can do this segment as many times as I want until I get the appropriate response that I'm looking for. Overall, we got a very good response pre to post, and uh, John ought to be feeling different. How do you feel? I feel much better. Great. And this is not much. painful. This was just all done without any kind of invasive procedure at all. Just that simple. That's correct. It's just a muscular reaction reflex. All right. Thank you very much, doctor. You're welcome. Once the problem area has been identified, the instrument delivers a precise oscillating force to that region. This uninterrupted motion increases the mobility of the spinal segments. After the adjustment, another scan of the spine is taken, allowing the chiropractor to immediately see the results. In any kind of uh, franchise or anything, any kind of company, you want something that's consistent and repeatable and also scalable so you can get the same results anywhere you go to. And then once we've adjusted the spine, we go back to reevaluate. And then by looking at the computer screen, we can see before and after pictures as far as how that person's done before the adjustment and after the adjustment.
you know, everybody wants to do healthcare records, but uh, not everybody knows how to do it. But we're gonna try to get that going. Oh, let's see. We... Hold on. A normal person is going to have about 18 doctors in their lifetime. And unfortunately, all of those doctors can't be around to share your medical records. So there's a lot of redundancy. A lot of the tests need to be redone. And there's uh, waste and fraud that people are concerned about. So I believe that uh, healthcare blockchains are going to help the medical industry and insurance industry. And the main advantage is that uh, once you have a main uh, place for doctors to go to and patients to go to, then you can actually get your records anywhere around the globe. Now, I'm talking about a main place, but in a decentralized sense, this could be great because now you're never going to lose your medical records, you know? People actually see about 18 doctors in their lifetime. And because of the HIPAA laws, the medical privacy laws, it's hard for doctors to actually cooperate and to help a patient. So there's a lot of redundancy that happens. A lot of medical tests in case you, you leave, the tests have to be done again. And uh, so a lot of these solutions can be easily done uh, with the blockchain. Oh.